this tutorial, we're going to go through the easiest way to create this cool carousel graphic looking thing. And the template for this project, if you want to just grab it, put it in, I'll put it in the link in the description for our Patreon members. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in some graphic I have. And for this example, I'm just going to use this music graphic. And if you want this graphic, we made a tutorial how to make it. And we'll put this in the description as well for our Patreons of just how to download it. In our music file we'll just click this we have all our templates in our patreon you just download it right here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click right here and make this a smart object so we can move it around in 3d space later and then i'm going to create a null by right clicking new null object now i'm going to click right here to title slash action save so i can center my null right in the exact middle of the screen and then I'm going to select my shape and I'm going to get this spider web looking thing and pip whip it right here. And I want to make sure I make this null a 3D object as well. Now I'm going to go to my shape right here and hit command D and I'm just going to duplicate this about eight times. And then I'm going to go to my active camera and I'm going to select top view so I can move this around in 3D space. Now I want to get the uh, geometry exactly right for this so I'm just gonna go to Google I'm just gonna type in circle with eight dots now you can make a graphic like this if you want or you can just go online I'm just gonna drag this in here now that I dragged it in here I can't really see it because I'm in the top view so what I'm gonna do is make the object a 3d object I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and I'm gonna bring this to minus 90 and then I'm just gonna scale this up a bit and these dots right here I want to make sure I get each shape layer right on a dot but before I do this I'm gonna go back to my uh, active camera and I want to make sure these are a little smaller because I don't want all these being too big and then I'm gonna go to my top view again and I'm just gonna drag the first one right down here now after I'm done with that I'm gonna go back to my uh, active camera right here and I'm gonna see how it is now if I go to the null and hit R on the keyboard and the X rotation I see this is a little too close together I like mine being a little far further apart so I'm gonna go back to my active camera and go to the top one right here and I'm just gonna expand this a little bigger and then realign it up now I'm gonna go back to my active camera and I like this space right here let me test it out I'm feeling good about this one so if I do the Y rotation I can see it's not orienting towards uh, my camera right here and this is an easy easy fix what we're gonna do is select all our shapes right here right click go to transform and auto orient them and then orient towards camera and then click OK and then now if we go to our note object for the Y rotation it should all be facing the camera every time we scroll through them now just for fun I'm gonna go in here and stylize this one Now after I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna go to the null, hit R on the keyboard, and my Y rotation, I'm gonna set a timestamp right here. And let's say we're gonna move this about this way. Now what I always like to do is make my keyframes, right click on them, keyframe assistance, and put an easy ease on them. Go to the graph editor tool, and make sure, if you don't see this, make sure you right click and go to edit speed graph. I'm just gonna select this and bring it down a bit and then let me see how that looks now we should have something like this looks pretty cool now let's go ahead and track it into a scene if we want and then what I'm gonna do is drag my main carousel footage right here and just throw it in here Now a cool thing I like to do is scale them up one at a time so it gives a cool looking effect. Now after you're done having some fun animating it just like this, I'm going to make sure I select all these, 
hit T on the keyboard and make the opacity, let's say 85, so it can make a more realistic looking effect when it's out in the forest right here. And then I'm gonna duplicate this, go to fill, just throw a fill on here, and I'm gonna make this black because I want some shadow to this. And then I'm gonna go to toggle switches, make this a 3D layer, hit R on the keyboard, and I'm just gonna drag this down here. And then in the effects and presets, I'm gonna put a blur on it right here. I'm just gonna raise this up a bit. Hit T on the keyboard, bring the opacity down. Now it should be looking more realistic right here. And then I'm gonna make sure I get my shadow, pip whip it to the main object right here because I'm about to track the main object to this main scene right here just by double clicking Go to, go into my tracker and I'm gonna do track motion and I'm just gonna like track a log or something let me go to the beginning of the time frame let's say we want to track this and hit tracker uh, this one didn't work out so I'm gonna find another one and if you want a more in-depth tutorial about this we have it in our patreon the exclusive tutorials Click OK, then apply to Y, X and Y. Click OK. Get my main comp right here. And I'm just gonna, gonna pip whip it to this positions down here. And here we have it, how to make a cool carousel looking effect using Adobe After Effects. Now you can make this look a lot more cooler on your own time. And for the template for this, we'll leave it down in the description.